she went away from me? Or, or did I drive her away? I don't know. If I, if I did, it was because I seemed to be having trouble stringing together a complete, complete I think a speech therapists would have no trouble with the language. Start in the beginning. You want to be independent of me. You want to be a person in your own right. You want people not to pity you, but you want them to understand you in the very poetic way you describe in your speech, as well as the plain, old, boring way normal people understand each other. Then you learn to read my lips. You learn to use that little mouth of yours for something other than eating and showing me you're better than hearing girls in bed. So come on, read my lips. What am I saying, Sarah? What am I saying? What am I saying? Shut up! You want to talk to me, then you learn my language. Did you get that? Oh, of course you did. I bet you've been reading lips perfectly for years. Oh, but it's a great control game, isn't it? You can cook, but you can't speak. You can drive and shop and play bridge, but you can't speak. You can even make a speech, but you can't do that alone. You always have to be dependent on someone else, and you will for the rest of your life until you learn to speak. So speak! too much. Understand yourself, but not better than I understand you. Be brave, but not brave enough that you don't need me. Your silence frightens me. When I'm in that silence, I hear nothing. I feel like nothing. And I can never bring you into my world of sound in the same way you can never open some magic door and bring me into your silence. I can say, say that now. Come home with me. Why not? Are you afraid I would just go on trying to change you? You have to meet somewhere else, not in silence, not in sound, but somewhere else. You don't know where that is yet, but you have to go it alone. You will try again with me, right? Yes, because no matter what, someone inside of you... I love you too. Something else. What? You don't want deaf children. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. You just don't have the right to demand that anyone be created in your image. I think... I dream, and in my dream I see her coming back to me with one last note. Not one she I've made for her, but one she's made for me. Not written. It exists in space in her two hands. It says, I will help you if you will help me. That concludes our program for tonight, but I invite you all back here at 710. We'll be doing a preview of the uh, student-directed play that Sean here is directing and that I am producing, which will be going up next week. We're doing a short 10-minute excerpt.